Hello lovelies, today I've got another favourites video for you and I don't know if there's much this month but I guess there's a lot to talk about that I've done more than products that I've loved but first off I'll start off with this beautiful pair of shoes that I'm in love with and now these were actually sent to me from Rainbow Club and the nice thing about them is I got to choose the specific uh, colour here and I chose a really nice sort of Pantone blue colour and honestly, they're quite formal shoes, they're sort of wedding shoes or wedding guest shoes, but I'm just in love with the colour and they kind of make me feel like a princess and I thought I would just get that out of the way because they are so pretty and I'll probably do an outfit post or some kind of post with them, so look out for that. Um, next up is a bit of a weird favourite, um, <laughs> but I, I just think these are really cute and it's these just really standard notebooks from uh, Ryman's and there really isn't much to them, they're kind of the notebooks that I'm sure you just give children, um, they remind me a lot of that. But I think it's just so nice that they're in these colours and I think if you want to spruce up your revision and make yourself feel a bit happier then these are perfect. The next thing is something I really enjoyed using and it is this cookie cutter from Mary Mary. Now I bought this because I obviously I wanted to make some unicorn cookies and I made some really simple ones, just a simple kind of vanilla biscuit and just white icing over the top and it looks really cute. Next time I'm probably going to put some like sprinkles on it or something to like glitz up a bit but I just really love the design. I like the fact that it's not too like on the nose for a unicorn, it's not like a basic unicorn shape, it's like quite stylized. And I also have a um, different one that is like a dachshund, a sausage dog, so I just think this is really cute and the other one I have is adorable it's such a, like a long sausage dog shape and it's just so cute but yeah unicorn cookie cutter the next thing is just typical me I guess and it is a pair of really simple white socks I tend to shy away from white socks because obviously they get really dirty obviously and um, yeah but I just could not resist these simple white socks with this kind of gingham frill these are from ASOS I just think they're so cute and I'll probably just wear them inside as usual with my socks because if you watch my cute sock collection video you'll know that but I just think so cute and I'm in love I love these another favourite are these nail files from OK and obviously with a nail file what can you really expect they're just simple but I like the fact that they're really cute you've got the bunny and the cat and I just think they're really sweet. I obviously have super long nails, as you can probably tell, and so having nail files like this just really help to keep them in check. I've never bought a nail file, but I was like, I need to sort my nails out because they do get into a bit of a state, so these are just really cute. I love it so much. Another favourite is this really cute print from Odea, which if you've seen my phone case, you'll know that I have on the back of my phone, it was also my kind of quirky homeware haul and um, the same design and I haven't found a frame for it yet but I thought I would just put it in my room to have a bit of artwork and I just think it's adorable. Isn't it cute? I love pandas and I love the kind of little bow tie touch. It's just, I can't wait to actually find a frame. It just seems like finding a frame is a nightmare because frames can be so expensive or you can find one that's the right size and you just don't like it so I'm gonna have a look on Etsy and see if I can find something that will fit this but I just think it's so cute. <laughs> Finally, as far as the products go for this video, I have these brushes from Bo Bell that were also sent to me. Uh, they were sent to me for an Instagram post, not really for a video, but I thought I'd just show them to you anyway because I thought it was pretty interesting. And now, as you can see, you'll, you'll see this in a minute, they are very, there's a lot of brushes. It's like a full, <laughs> it's actually quite hard to get them in the frame, but a full set of brushes. Now the interesting thing about these is they're so cheap. They're about, I think, 40 quid for the set. I will have to check that. But it's sort of monochrome, I think it's 36 pieces. And now if you think about it mathematically, that's less than, or about less than one pound of brush, or a little bit more than, a little bit more than one pound of brush, that's the correct maths, right? But considering you also get a leather holder, or fake leather, whatever it is, I don't know. Considering you get this holder, I think that's actually pretty good value and I haven't actually tried them yet but I just thought I would show that to you just in case you're looking for something cheap to start 
doing makeup better. Honestly, I'm not the best at doing makeup. So this kind of excites me as a challenge to see if I can use all the uh, brushes, but we shall see. I just thought that was really cool. Now, I thought I would just talk about what I've been doing this month. So one of the things I did was I went to Cutter and Squidge, which I've been to before. I went with my friend Rachel last year and I went back to try one of their biscuits, which is like, kind of looks like an oyster. <laughs> it's like a biscuit and then it has a filling inside. And I got their raspberry small biscuit, which had, you know, a kind of slightly not burnt marshmallow singed. <laughs> is that is that the correct terminology? I don't know. <laughs> and I just thought it was really, um, tasty. The only thing I will say about Custard and Squidge, which is in Soho by the way if you want to visit, is it's very sweet. They are actually apparently health conscious, so they try and use not too much sugar etc stuff like that, but I do find their cakes on the saccharine side, but they're perfect if you love like cute decor and kind of a slight Asian touch to things. They're a really really cool place. Another place I went to is something really close to me and it's Saucer and Spritz. Now I think this is kind of like an unknown cafe because there's really no reason why you would go to it as a destination because it's in Oasis on Tottenham Court Road. So you have Oasis the store and then above it you have Saucer and Spritz which is a uh, coffee place but also a cocktail bar I think at night. And it's just really lovely, the decor is just, it's just, it's just beautiful. I just go for the decor to be honest, just go to look, <laughs> you don't even have to get a coffee, it's so pretty. And another place I've been to this month, where have I been? I went to the cinema and I went to see Beauty and the Beast and it was amazing. I was on team, you know, people being like, not my Belle, but I actually really like Emma Watson as Belle. She's kind of controversial, but I think she did a good job. Emma Watson is kind of that character anyway in my head. She's kind of the Hermione character, so for me it just, it worked. And uh, another thing I did, I'm just trying to rack my brain, I went to the planetarium in Greenwich. Now that was interesting because Greenwich is this place that I just haven't explored. I've been in it sort of momentarily for like, to go to the, I think the OT Stadium and to a play there, but otherwise I've never really gone to Greenwich to go to Greenwich. It was actually really nice to have a look around and it's such a nice area. It's weird because it, it doesn't feel like London, but you know it is London. It kind of feels like a kind of countryside city hybrid thing going on. And it's just really pretty. And me and my boyfriend went to the planetarium because he likes space and it was cool. It was about half an hour show and you kind of looked at the constellations. You're in this sort of quite small dome room and you looked up at the ceiling and all the constellations and everything and learned about it. It was quite sort of, um, not kiddie, but it's the sort of thing where like there are lots of kids there learning about space so it's kind of the sort of thing you'd see at the zoo I would say but it was just really pretty and a really romantic date actually so I recommend that. Another place I went to and it was really nice was I went to Peggy Portion again I know what you're thinking I went to it again and I met Cara from Sped to Sparkle and it was just really lovely to get a coffee and some cake and catch up with her because we've never met and it was just the loveliest summery kind of day. The sun was actually out, so that was quite lucky. But it was just, it was so lovely to meet her. Two other things that I thought I would bring up is Amarino, which is this really pretty place. And you'll probably know it from the rose shaped ice cream. It's really pretty. And I tried that with the uh, signature macaroon in the middle. And I think it was about six pounds, which is pretty steep. But I think about one pound of that was the macaroon, if you're wondering. And it was really pretty, really tasty, and I recommend it if you just want an indulgent pretty ice cream, which is Instagrammable too, because let's be real, a rose ice cream is pretty cool. And the other place I went to that I absolutely loved this month was Cafe Miami. Now Cafe Miami is a place in Hackney, so really close to Palm Vaults, if you know that, the famous for the kind of rainbow coffee. And it's in this beautiful Art Deco building and it's honestly just pastel heaven. It's so pretty. And honestly, it just had all these magical touches like the ice, the ice cubes, <laughs> the sugar cubes rather, it was shaped like, um, you know, cards, so like spades, um, diamonds, etc. And it was just such a wonderful atmosphere. I don't really know how to put my finger on it, but I've been to a lot of 
Instagramable cafes where it, the service or the food has kind of let me down, but everything was perfect. The heart shaped waffles were perfect, the coffee was good, so I just really loved it and I felt so happy that both the aesthetic and the food was really good because I've been to places like Farm Girl where honestly the service has been kind of horrendous and you just get so stressed out by going there but Miami Cafe is just so breezy and lovely and the staff are really great too. Another thing I thought I would touch on but it's not really a favourite person, it kind of is, is a song by Riz Ahmed and you probably know Riz Ahmed either because he was in Girls or because he was in the Rogue One film and he's just a really brilliant actor that I've kind of been really interested in this month. He did a speech on um, representation, not diversity, in Parliament and I just thought he really kind of nailed on the head a lot of things that I've been thinking about recently. He also does a lot of um, rap music, both on his own and in a group called The Sweatshop Boys and um, he has a song called Inglestan, which I will put in a clip now. He's Britain great, but hey, then ask me about his where I live and why my heart beats. And I just think the kind of phrase there kind of sums up what it means to be not just like a Londoner, but a Brit. And I've kind of, because of the attacks this month in London, I've been feeling a bit down about this idea of what being a Londoner is. Because for me, it's always been about diversity. Um, at the core, I don't relate to uh, this narrative of being white and Christian, mostly because I'm not Christian, I'm as atheist as they come, so I don't really get how I fit into the society if we're meant to be Christian or whatever, because I'm not Christian, I'm atheist, um, I am white, but I think your skin colour just it c can't be linked to your like nationality, I just think it's so silly and it upsets me because there are a lot of people that I love who are either immigrants or second generation immigrants, third generation immigrants or whatever, or people that people would see as foreign or unwanted and I think it's just, it's just awful the things that go on these days and the stigma that's created about Islam, for example. I mean, it seems to be perfectly okay now to be like, Islam is evil, why would you believe in Islam? And it just, it drives me up the wall, to be honest, because if you've ever met a Muslim, if you've worked with Muslims, you just realise that they're normal people, they're not these, like, terrorists or whatever. It's, it's even how it makes me a bit angry, but, um, yeah. That was the note I wanted to leave on, just saying, if you're not from this country, or if you don't feel like you fit in this country, just know that you are welcome. At least from me anyway. But anyway, thank you for watching lovelies. I hope you have a great week. I hope that wasn't too of a negative place to end, but I think it has to be said. I think you always have to stand up for what you believe in. And if you have something positive to say, say it. I think that's really important. Just let people know that, you know, you're pro-gay rights or whatever, or you think people should live here and that immigration is a really positive thing because immigration is a positive thing anyway that's that's my run over for this month <laughs> before i get carried away anyway thank you for watching lovelies bye